What is going on guys? Welcome to Tekken Bits. I'm Enias for Tekken Bits and welcome to the biggest review on this channel. Today we are featuring not one, not two, not three, but four headsets. All ranging from a price of 200 euros to 300 euros for the momentum over ears. So Philips and Sennheiser both hooked us up with a few headsets, more coming soon on this channel, but let's dive in to these headsets. For this review I will only compare each headset at a time. For each individual review be sure to check the links down the like button. Especially like this because this has cost me a lot of effort uh, since I had to do this review during my examinations. So uh, which means I did have to sacrifice a few points on my scoreboard. So let's dive into audio quality for these headsets since that's the most important thing and second we'll talk about what uh, the design and the wearing comfort looks like so as you guys can or cannot see i do have four headsets and each one has its own purpose so for example these are wireless they, they do have a, a high wearing comfort these are uh, between between outdoors and indoors these definitely are indoor headset because they're huge if you if you happen to wear these in the city or on the bus or on the train everybody will think you're an alien and these definitely 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 in my opinion are outdoors because they look so swaglicious um i say that not because i'm justin bieber but um i just like the design of the headset and it definitely comes with a price but it's definitely worth it but we'll talk about that in a second so let's start off with the small one namely the philips m1 you might think okay it's the small one it's the cheapest of the three and it is but but it still is 200 euros for this headset and the reason being is that it's a bluetooth headset not not co noise cancelled uh, for example if i compare it to the mm550x it doesn't have any noise cancelling features but then again the mm550 is much more expensive than this one and in my opinion this is worth buying and the mm550 yeah maybe maybe not because the noise cancelling feature which you will pay 100 euro extra for didn't work that great and this is really easy to compare single button uh, just press it compare it to your smartphone and boom you're set to go wirelessly volume rocker play pause button that's in my opinion all you need on a headset it does have an implemented microphone as you guys may or may not see if i can find it at least um which records your audio uh, fairly well people said it was just like i was standing right beside them so that is a great feature on this headset also while the audio quality does lack a bit because of the, the Bluetooth um, coming through but it really is um, one of the best wireless headset I've used in the past and um, in that sense uh, I do recommend these these are my favorite of all th four so uh, you might think uh, I w uh, would go with the the huge ones uh, for indoors or the momentums which are the most expensive of the three but in fact I do use these and if you want to hear about my opinion on wireless do check out the review because wireless wins over wired in my opinion even with the lack of audio depth it's just the comfort of being wireless that counts then we have the Fidelio L2s and these come, in, come into play uh, in the mid-range so we have the X with Philips which is in my opinion the, the, the most extreme version uh, the, the same cones but because they are bigger 
they do represent more audio quality um, if you look at the Fidelio L2s there's only one problem with the audio and that is the open coil design or the the open design of the cone the reason being is as you guys can see it's not a plastic plate with uh, any um, uh, isolation under it it's just an opening and right behind that is the electronics and cone uh, which produce audio and the problem with this design is if you happen to be in a room with a lot of ambient noise or a lot of people speaking for example bus or train or any public service or any public room for that matter this headset will not work for you even if you have it cranked up to a, an audio level of 100% which is damaging your ears as fuck um, you will still be able to hear the ambient noise is this a an advantage yes maybe uh, I survived three times because I heard a car running up almost crashed into me and with this headset I could hear it hits horn but then again uh, I was uh, in my right and uh, I didn't need any surviving or something but then again uh, maybe it's cool but in my opinion it's not uh, because you can hear a lot of ambient noise and um, if you use these in a silent room they do sound better than a closed ear design so for example if we have the Sennheiser momentum on ear you can see it's just plastic with some isolation uh, beneath it so this is a closed ear design the the reason why a few manufacturers choose for an open ear design is because the cone has more breathing area it can function uh, in a in a wider range and this represents a in my opinion a larger audio spectrum than for example a, a, a closed ear design so a lot of you don't hear the the audio spectrum or just look at technical specifications but technical specifications doesn't say anything because uh, it's a performance of the cone in ideal uh, circumstances it, they don't have any play time so I do compare these for a month or so and I do cycle between those because I use this at home this for um, uh, at my home uh, in Ghent I use these screws around in the city and the other ones I use in the gym and the reason being I use these wireless ones in the gym is because they're wireless and that's the only reason and I don't need thumping bass but they do deliver some bass so that's a big advantage so the audio quality on these really the, the high the mids and the lows are well represented and that is under the circumstance that you don't have any ambient noise so if you are in a silent room for example you know you won't have any neighbors shouting at you or you won't have any fans or, or whatever running in your in your computer room then, then this is definitely a no-brain buyer but these cost around 260 euros and uh, at that price I maybe recommend some other headsets uh, look on this channel because I did have some great headset features uh, in this price range so going uh, through the other range uh, since I was talking about cruising around on the bus and so on I can talk about the Sennheiser Momentum and as you guys can see this is just pure aesthetics the, the, the finish on this cabling that disappears in the headband the headband that is split perfectly braided uh, it, it it has some plasticky cable but but in a matter that uh, dr. Dre headsets have these it's a metal uh, pause and play button although the 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 volume controls didn't work on my Android device and I do have a Nexus 5 as you guys may or may not know which happens to be stolen at the moment so I will have to buy a new one 
So thumbs up for me continuing without a smartphone. So as you guys can see, just a great finish, but the audio quality really is represented. So for example, if you connect these to a normal three and a half millimeter jack, and you do have a sound card, for example, uh, a normal standard Realtek sound card, you will be able to push 7.1 audio through this device, and it will detect it, and it will just have a front left, a front right, a back right, a back left speaker, a bass speaker, a mid-section speaker. Although this is one cone, it does um, enable it and that is because the cone is so sensitive and it's, it just has a wider range than the normal headsets out there. And if you connect it to a simple device like a smartphone or the iPod, it will still have great audio quality. So all to all, this this uh, has a price of 300 euros. That's 299.99 in Belgium, and uh, this is really expensive. They do have an on ear for these, and I will compare these in in a, a few weeks. But this really is a, a must-have if you are a audio quality freak or if you are wearing Dr. Dre's every now and then just wear these because these really look as great as, as the uh, Dr. Dre does. I do have the black and red which makes me think of Dr. Dre but I never wore any. Uh, my friends have them and that's uh, why I know what the audio quality is like so maybe I shall compare it. The Dr. Dre's have a more rich bass but in my opinion it's oversaturated in Dr. Dre's. It's great for listening to Dr. Dre and 50 Cent and all the rappers out there but if you happen to listen to for example David Guetta it sometimes gets too dominant and um, with these, these represent the mid, the lows and the highs really well. Uh, as for the, the, the lows, it's, it's not oversaturated, it's evenly sp and spectrum will sound like, in my opinion, how it's, it's used to be. It's not that great uh, when compared to a DJ headset of course, but then again, if you are looking into a price range of 300 euros, I do recommend these over Dr. Dre headsets, uh, just because these don't cost 300 euros because of their name, they cost because of material use, for example aluminium, uh, the great feel that they have, the cushioning is memory foam and as you guys can see if I push it, it really remembers my ear it, it, it's an over ear design which is which has a great wearing comfort and as you guys can see it's not rounded it's just oval uh, which is great for your ears also the breathability is uh, far beyond what other headsets deliver although it's a pleasure design um, I have to say that uh, these breathe sufficiently and didn't have broke into a sweat. I did use these in the in the gym, and I uh, managed to cope with them during my whole session of breaking a sweat on all other places besides my ears. So that was that for the Sennheiser. So all to all, if I have to grade these on, on, on 10, I definitely have it at 9 out of 10. The only problem I have is uh, that the price is definitely up there. And then we have the last device of the top 4 of my headsets for this year and that is the Fidelio X1 and as you guys may or may not know I do compare uh, all other headsets with these because the audio quality is really up there as you guys can see it's just huge I don't recommend these we uh, wearing these outside because they are quite hefty and they feature a open ear design they have a large cone in them they represent bass as it should be 
the, the, the comfort of wearing these is just a fabric uh, that makes me uh, think of uh, Alcantara. Um, really soft on the ears and as you guys can see it's not that huge the, the the grommet in which your ear fits isn't that isn't that big but as you guys can see your head can be fairly big if you happen to have a huge head um also all the the quality build quality again is great it, it has a, a band that sits uh, around your head it's breathable material again this headset breathes through the material definitely because it's not using Alcantara um, this headset if you are looking for an indoor headset that you just will use to watch your movies and you're not looking for a 7.1 headset I definitely recommend these would I recommend these for gaming maybe not because I, I reviewed the Sennheiser 7.1 headset for gaming and they do have a quite a big uh, range when it comes to um, seeing when the enemy is on the right or on the left and so on and these headsets ju just uh, just function well with um, music and definitely with um, audio from movies so this headset really functions great so all to all guys this has been a wrap up of four headsets so what stays with me is the wearing comfort of each headset I did mention a few things but let's start off with the winner of everything when it comes to wearing comfort namely the Fidelio M1s I couldn't be more uh, recommending these more and more because these headsets this headset is just in my opinion the best of all the reason being is the ease of use just push the button connect it to your device and boom you're set to go you have audio it lasts for days they say that it has eight hours of playback i ma uh, i managed to get 13 hours of playback through this device and if it is empty it says a beep tone that remains for one hour so if this means you are commuting you are on the bus and you happen to have the beeping sound of the battery it won't die on you within the next half an hour and this is the problem with a lot of headsets because they 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 say to you that they are empty but just uh, you you won't be able to play these for a half an hour with these I know they are going to be empty but not during my bus time and yes guys I do have a lot of traveling to do I don't have a car so I travel by bus and by train which is somehow more economic and ecologic so I uh, I consume a lot of devices as you guys can see but I think of the environment every now and then so let's talk about the wearing comfort of the L1s and overall I can speak in two categories namely these ones are comfortable but they are huge and not wireless these are small comfortable wireless and that's the reason why I can say that this is my number one device and as a second device I definitely would choose the Sennheiser Momentum as you guys would uh, be able to see in my Sennheiser review this just has great audio quality and a great design so that was it guys if you have any questions I will do a follow-up video on these four devices so please feel free to put your questions down below I will answer them as uh, quickly as possible and I will mention your comment in the next video so be sure to comment subscribe and like liking will get you a date with Pamela Anderson and subscribing will get you a ton of cookies so this was Enas for Techabits signing off peace